Ooh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to Cave Story. We are in Mamigma Village. We got washed up into the reservoir after fighting the core and Iron Head. And now we need to figure out where we're going. We lost Curly. Things are taking a turn for the worst. Uh, but here's Professor Booster. Oh, it's you. The doctor has amassed the red flowers. All the Mimigma of the island have now fallen under his grip. Tragedy is inevitable. Had I known these events would transpire, then I should have at least had Sue escape from the island. Obtain the Booster 2.0. Please honor my final request. If you see Sue one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She is Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to this island, but she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. So now we got the booster, 2.0. Um. Excuse me? Press the jump button while airborne and boost in one of four directions. Do you want to equip it? Yeah, I do. I was like, why isn't it working? That is missiles. What the heck? There we go. Ultimate control in the air now. So uh, what do I do with this? I mean, there's one thing that we can do, which is probably important. We could go get something that I've been talking about pretty much the whole Let's Play. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and get this item. I gotta go up from this way, I think. Uh, maybe. Forget how I actually get up here. I think it must be this way. Yeah, there we go. We can go back up here to that first cave that we started the game in. We'll do a quick save here. First cave. I like how it's called that. But yeah, if you remember this little room here where we got the polar star, this old guy was sleeping last time, but if we go back and talk to him, did you happen to see the gun I made? Someone pilfered it while I slept. I should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket had I known that was going to be the case. Wait, that's my gun. Why do you have it? I didn't make it for you. Give it back. Polar star was confiscated. You've apparently put a significant amount of wear on it. I... I was raised to believe that weapons should always be constructed by oneself. And I always thought those who fight with a firearm created by another person are all fools. Growing overconfident with powers that were never their own to begin with. Then blaming their own shortcomings on the equipment they use. Fools! Still. But now, seeing my gun used by you with your hands, I am so very incredibly touched. To use an incomplete gun such as the Polar Star to this degree. Hmm. Pardon my rantings. How about this? I'll give it to you. After it's completed, of course. The Polar Star is now the Spur. There remains a very delicate balance in this world between those who create and those who will experience the creation of others. I can't say that I wasn't aware of this. However, I had never experienced it. Now, thanks to you, I finally have. As long as there is someone who will appreciate the work involved in creation, the effort is time well spent. To this end, I will continue to create for as long as I can. Yeah, crazy story. And this is by far probably one of the best weapons in the game. Which is why I wanted to do everything to get it. But unlike all the other guns in the game, it doesn't have experience. You hold the shoot button, and it charges up to max. So no matter how many times you get hit, you will always have this fully upgraded gun as long as you charge it. And it is broken, let me tell you. 
But yeah, um, that said, now that we've got some better firepower, we got some mobility with the booster 2.0, we have got to go somewhere. I gotta figure out what our next move is. I believe I think I know what it is. Oh yeah, the spur at level 1 is the original uh, polar star, level 3, so that already makes it really good. Uh, I guess we'll wait for a save. Let's go back to the graveyard real quick. I want to see if we can grab some stuff before we head out. Remember, there was this little guy here in the graveyard. Can we, uh, no, we can't do anything with him quite yet. But there's also this door up here that we can reach. There we go. You got some business with me? Sure do. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't have any business with me. All right, well, I guess this is for later. <clears throat> we haven't set the necessary story flags, so we'll come back. So uh, creepy in this village with no Mamigma anywhere. Them changing the uh, the music in the village actually kind of adds to the ambiance. Teleport to Egg Corridor. Cosma. All right, let's go to Egg Corridor then. I think that was our hint. And, wow, it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? There was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything was like this after I came back around. What the heck is going on? Yeah, this is the ruined egg corridor, and this is probably one of my least favorite areas in the game, if you've seen my randomizer video. Got some banger music, though. Yeah, with the polar or the spur, I should say, we should be fine. Don't have to worry about our weapons downgrading. Now, that isn't to say that all their other weapons have become obsolete or useless. They still have their uses. For example, the missiles are still very good at doing damage to bosses. Oh, watch the spikes. And some weapons still have really good utility, like the... Fireball is still good at dropping down ledges, for example. Which is what I like about this game. I feel like every weapon is pretty balanced and useful in some way, except for maybe the bubbler. I think that bubbler is uh, pretty useless. Cthulhu's abode, question mark. Uh, jeez, dude. There we go. Let's be careful in here. I say as I get destroyed. Did I save at the village? I hope so. Okay, I did. Let's try that again. Yeah, I'd say that... Right, we're the core... Well, I don't know. The labyrinth can be pretty difficult, but... This is where I would say the game kind of ramps up in difficulty and gets pretty difficult from this point on. It stops holding your hand in platforming and just enemies alike. Well, I can just straight up annihilate these guys. Oh yeah, I have the booster too. Oh yeah, that's the way to go right there. I don't think that's anything. Oh, jeez. Gotta be mindful of the spikes at all times. Lest you get destroyed. I'll stay away from that, dude. It's got like the hitbox radius of a nuke. When he goes off. You gotta be careful. Alright, I think we're almost through this. Hmm. Dang. Hmm. 
Alrighty. Not looking too good with our health situation here, but I should be fine. We're gonna have to fight uh, the sisters. A cold breeze blows through. But with the spur, this is not too bad. Um, I think when their tongues are sticking out like that, I think we can still do damage. Yeah. Yeah, see, Spur makes things easy peasy, dude. Defeated the sisters. Although that fight isn't too bad with the machine gun either, and missiles, obviously, like I said, are pretty dang good for bosses, so... You just want to do damage to them before they can start shooting their fireballs. That's what makes them hard to manage is when they got fire going everywhere. Here's some more health. See, all our uh, weapons are maxed, so that's good. Not to worry about collecting experience. And we're about through the egg corridor, finally. Let's head to the save room real quick, though. Get a refill and a save right here. Text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who's over there? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. After you took off to Sand Zone, we sped up preparations for securing an escape. It was then that misery showed up. Sue was taken away, and Professor Booster, he disappeared somewhere. Doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds, but I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the demon crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mamigma army is ready to attack the surface. If that does happen, it'll be futile to try to defeat the doctor, even for you. You have no choice but to run from this place. Anyway, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here all on my own. For the flying dragon that I need... That I need hatched safely. Want to escape with me? So we have a choice here, a decision to make. And we can say no and continue the game for the other endings of the game. But if you say yes, you do get an ending. So we will do that this episode. I know it can't be helped. You did your best. Get on. Hold on tight. And that was how you and Kazuma safely escaped from the island. Soon after, the doctor would use the island as his flying fortress and strike at the surface. Do were the countries of the surface able to withstand the doctor's something? Dang it, dude, I screwed up. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. After escaping, you and Kazuma live a humble life, hidden deep within the safe confines of mountains and out of the doctor's reach. End? Question mark? But yeah, this is the bad ending of the game. Obviously, you don't want the doctor to rain death upon the surface, so... Uh, do I have to do anything here, or...? Okay, you must just have to quit. I thought it just sent you, like, played the credits or something, but I guess it doesn't. You just sit here. But yeah, we're quitting back to the main menu. We had saved just outside that door, so that we could go back and not say that this time. Want to escape with me? No. I see. Truth be told, there is one way you can change the Mimigma back into their original state. Destroy the island's core, but the island may collapse if you do destroy the core. Is too dangerous a choice for you to make? Is it a too dangerous a choice? Either way, I don't know where to find the core. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you. But I may need to flee the island at any time if it gets too dangerous for me. Alrighty. There we go. 
If you're looking for the core, then you need to really hurry it up. So yeah, now we just continue on as normal, but first we got to attempt, well, let's actually, let's go back. Let me save real quick. So we don't have to go through the dialogue again. If I meet my demise, because yeah, we were out here on the outer wall. And there's this little, little area here that you can get through if you use the booster. This little house. Where'd that husband, or where'd my, that husband of mine go? Have you seen my husband? Who are you? But yeah, that little man in the graveyard, this is their house, and I just have to go bring him there. Now that we've triggered that flag, I think we can grab him from the graveyard now. But we will climb the outer wall here and try and get to a different part of the island. This is a very platform heavy section, but pretty peaceful with the music overall. We're gonna jump into here real quick. There's a secret room called the clock room where we can get some. I thought this was missiles because of the randomizer, but it's just the it's a counter for speed running, I think. Speed running in the very last section of the game, I believe. Trying to get that ghost cat back there. I don't know if we can shoot those little yarn balls or whatever those are. Ghost balls? That's weird. Yeah, I remember when I first played through this game, this section was such a pain in the butt, dude, because... You have to climb this entire wall, and if you die, you have to obviously go back to that save room and climb the entire wall again, so it can be frustrating. It helps if you have the 2.0 for sure. The randomizer is really fun because you can get the booster, like the 1.0 version, and still get the 2.0. Because they're just items in a pool, as opposed to just being story flags that are required, so it's kind of neat. If you wanted to have some maneuverability before, like during the core section and stuff. The fight's definitely a lot easier when you can boost in the water. Ooh, ah! Eek, don't kill me. I'm a human. I was turned into a Migma by magic, eh? You mean you're not a killer robot? You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? I'm Ido. I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new Mimigma appearance. I could probably run away, but take a look at me and how I am now. I'm stuck. You must have climbed all the way up the wall from the outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but I also have an innate fear of heights. Ugh. I shouldn't have come to such a place like this floating island. You don't need anything from this miserable man who happens to be stuck here. All right, we'll save here. Um, we're not too far into this episode. I feel like we could probably keep going just a little bit. We are now in the plantation, which shares the same music as the uh, title screen. I don't know why I stated that, it just it's something I noticed. Yeah, what do we got up here? Oh right, passage question mark. Alder. Anna Tupone. Makito. And this looks like the doctor. And then there's just this tree dude here. Very nice. That is a uh, yeah, very interesting. Makes you wonder what the heck, but you'll figure it out. Well, I mean, you kind of make assumptions. Like the doctor's evil, and then there's this room with statues of 
other people with the same crown, right? You can kind of surmise that there's like a lineage of demon crown holders. This is a little bit weird. Um, let's see. What do we need to do? Maybe we go down here, because I think Curly's down here. Yeah. The doctor from the surface is using the enigma of this island to grow red flowers for him. Similar kinds of events have occurred in the past, too. Who are you? No, Curly doesn't remember us. Sag. Careful with the sprinting gunfish. They can be used as steps. Interesting. We have the booster 2.0, so that won't be necessary. Do not enter, also it's locked. Oh, okay. Never mind then. What the heck is that? Oh, I know what- I think I know what that is. I was going to attempt to grab it, but I don't think that's a good idea. So, we know Curly's here. She doesn't have her memory. There's a weird room with some statue of people with the demon crown. There's a door with a password that we can't get into yet. These guys won't talk to us. I had to land right on that dude, what the heck? Rest area. Yo, haven't we met somewhere before? I must have been at the Migma Village. At which misery brought me here. I really dislike farming. I'm gonna go clear my head with some fishing for a little bit. Do you like to fish? If there's another chance, maybe I'll bump into you again. And none of these Migma will talk to us. Yeah. Flowers. I think that's what they're growing here. Let's go back this way real quick. Oh jeez, dude. Look at these guys. <laughs> Why do these guys remind me of, like, Frogger enemies or something? Get a life capsule up here. Increase our max life by four... I think that makes us have, what, 45 now? Jail number two. Oh, you're a killer robot? You come to kill us? The doctor could eat it. Do you know a Sakamoto person? She should be hiding in the plantation somewhere. There were a few humans in here with us as well, but I haven't seen them recently. I wonder if they escaped safely. The Enigma work in the farm are being tricked by the doctor. He's planning on making us fight the killer robots from the surface. And we have a teleporter over here. Destination is unknown. Yeah, let's teleport. This leads back to the shelter in the grasslands. So yeah, we did a little bit of exploring. We'll just go ahead and save here, and next episode we will see if we can't find Sue in the plantation and, I don't know, find the core of the island and get some of the better endings in the game. Yeah, we'll save. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe if you want to see more content from me, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.